Finding Hari by Krishna's Mercy. Binu gur hoi ki gyan gyan ki hoi birag binu. Gavhe bed puran suk ki lahiya hari bhakti binu. Quote, is it possible to acquire knowledge without the Guru? And is it possible to acquire knowledge without renunciation? In the same way, the Vedas and Puranas sing that there is no chance of happiness and peace without devotion to Shri Hari. Dohavli, 137 I have a serious question for you. There is all this talk about the science of self-realization, the understanding of Brahman, the key concepts of Jnana and Vijnana, the need for Vairagya, the importance of focus, concentration, and the like. This is all for attaining the goal of life, of achieving liberation. But do you have any idea what my house looks like? Have you walked through the various rooms? Some of them are impossible to navigate. There is stuff everywhere. A mountain of bills to pay. A host of errands to run. They never run out, actually. With the passing of each day, the problems grow again, like the seasons changing. How in the world do you expect me to practice devotion to the Supreme Lord? Within this landscape, amidst the chaos, insanity and constant pressure, how am I supposed to dedicate time to hearing Hari Katha? This is a serious question. What hope to do any of us have? No wonder everyone is hooked on some type of intoxicant. It is a means of survival. At least they have that to keep them going. Goswami Tulsidis gives the recommendation to follow Bhakti. Without such Bhakti, it is impossible to find peace and happiness. The claim has the support of the Vedas and Puranas. We don't need to scour the countless pages. We don't have to become familiar with the nuance and detail of the Sanskrit verses. We know the summary to the presentation. Live life for the interest of the Supreme Lord, who is known as Hari. Make him your top priority. Always think of him. Remember to remember. Not only will he then never be lost to you, but you will never be lost to him, either. Yo ma pashati sarvatra. Sarvam cha mai pashati. Tasyaha na pranashami. Satcha me na pranashati. Quote, for one who sees me everywhere and sees everything in me, I am never lost, nor is he ever lost to me. Lord Krishna, Bhagavad Gita, 6.30 The specific comparison used is to the two vitals components for attaining JNANA, which is knowledge. We require the impact of the Guru, who is the spiritual guide. That is how to receive the information. The subsequent Vairagya is necessary for enforcing the principles, for actually realizing the knowledge. Detachment in this case has a purpose, it is not merely to win a contest or to needlessly torture yourself. At the same time, we live within conditions that are generally inauspicious. We are fortunate to even learn that life has a purpose beyond enjoying the senses. The meeting with the Guru is not guaranteed. How will we know to follow Bhakti? If we have a desire to please Hari, how will we find the type of organization to help us make a routine of the process? The mercy flowing from Hari is causeless and without end. This means that even within difficulty the opportunity is not lost. At the very least we have the chance to worship, to show devotion, through the holy names, Hare Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. We can read. We can write. We can discuss with others, either in a lengthy conversation or short statements in a digitized correspondence. We can ponder for ourselves, to see if the JNANA we receive is actually valid or not. We can deliberate on what we have heard, in the manner suggested to the bow warrior named Arjuna. Iti te gyanam akhyatan. Guhyad guhyatra maya. Vimrishatad asheshen. Yathe chasi tatha kuru. Quote, Thus I have explained to you the most confidential of all knowledge. Deliberate on this fully, and then do what you wish to do. Lord Krishna, Bhagavad Gita, 18.63 In this way, 
there is always the opportunity to find Hari. My troubles are here today, gone tomorrow, and back again the next day. My association with Hari and devotion is forever. We never lose anything in the process, but have everything to gain. In closing, everything to gain, with devotion to attain, there for one who tries, seen always by Hari's eyes, trouble otherwise renewing today, same ones from yesterday, and again in future to get, this life on devotion set.